guys. So I just got to one of my favorite places, TJ Maxx. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see it in yonder? But yeah, I just got to TJ Maxx. I'm about to go inside. I figured we could do like a little shop with me. It's been a while since I've been here. And by a while, I mean a couple of weeks. But I love TJ Maxx. They have the best stuff at the most affordable prices. I do have a couple things I need. I have like a wedding this weekend and I don't have anything to wear to it. So hoping I can find like a cute dress because I have not left myself enough time to order anything online. And I've actually gotten some really cute dresses from there recently um, and like summer stuff. And then I figured we could just check out all the stuff they have. Um, this one normally has some good home stuff, good makeup, skincare sort of things, all for really, really great prices. So I figured we could do a little shop with me while we're in there and then I can go home and like show you guys everything like haul style as well. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's go shopping. I will be honest, I get really awkward when I vlog in public. It's like not my favorite thing, but for y'all, I'm doing it. <laughs> there she is in all her glory. Ooh, they have the e.l.f. retro collection sponges. These came out like last year, $4.99 for this little three pack of sponges. They literally have like so many different sponges here. They're the real technique ones too. So definitely sponge galore. Okay, wait, what are these self tanning sponges? I've never seen that. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh, okay, I see Laura Mercier. These are her matte radiance highlights. How much is this? $12.99, that's actually a pretty good price. So that's not bad. Also, there's this Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. They have this in a bunch of different shades here, and this is like a newer kind of product. Okay, they have a lot of good lip products today. We have NARS, or that's actually a highlighter, I think. Marc Jacobs, that's a mascara. Becca, little lipstick, Anastasia. Is this the Anastasia, the liquid glow? I don't think I know that. Tons of MAC lipsticks and they're all eight bucks. So that's actually a really, really good deal. Laura Mercier, Stila. Like look at how much MAC they have. Oh my goodness gracious. This is actually kind of crazy. Ooh, they have this little Impressions Vanity, like Hollywood style lighted mirror. That's actually really cute. And those are normally not cheap. So, ooh, Becca. Yes, ma'am. A little face palette from Becca. They actually have a lot of palettes here today. We have some Pixie, Makeup Revolution back there. Those are actually really cute. Ooh, okay, wait, we have some MAC up in here too. I don't think I've ever seen these. 20 bucks for these. They have a couple different like shades, travel exclusive, and this little Marc Jacobs kit, which is cute. Apparently Marc Jacobs is getting like discontinued, so I guess that's why it's here. Oh, 10.99, not bad for bronzer and mascara. We have some Anastasia up here too. This is the Moonchild Highlight Palette, 12.99, not bad. Ooh, okay, over in the skincare, they have this Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Eye Cream, $25. I've never seen this. They have the whole Clinique little like three-step system here. And okay, $12.99 for the little facial soap. I don't know if they're all the same price. Okay, yeah, they are. But they have the whole little three-step system. I know a lot of people like that. They actually have a ton of skincare today, like a lot more than I remember. Okay, I also see some First Aid Beauty. I like their skincare products. $9.99, so not bad. Detox Eye Roller. I've never tried this product, but probably pretty good. Ooh, okay, they actually have a lot of their stuff. So this is like the Salve. I don't know how you like pronounce it, but if you have like a really dry patch or something, this is really, really good for that. Only 10 bucks. Okay, more, they have the Ultra Repair Sleeping Cream. I've never tried this, but I've tried the regular Ultra Repair and I like it. They also have this cute little Mario Badescu like gift set. This came out last holiday season and it's 20 bucks. So that's not bad, especially because it says a $38 value. This I'm surprised about because they have the new Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This like literally just came out. So I'm surprised it's here, but $10, new product. <laughs> they also have quite a few of these pore vacuum system things. Not really sure if these ones are like great or not, but they have a couple different brands here of these that I noticed. I haven't really seen these before here, but they have a decent amount now. Ooh, okay, I like this brand's lashes. They're always really cheap here. It's Kala and they're pretty good. Yeah, this is $3. They also have a few more lashes over here in the clearance section as well. Dang, they have more Mac over here on clearance. They have a bunch of different lippies over here for six bucks, all on clearance and a little Becca one too. There's actually a decent amount in clearance today. That's actually like good stuff. And I also see this Pixie palette down here in clearance. This is actually a pretty big palette. Oh, only $7. All right, this actually is a pretty good deal. 
Ooh, I like this hairspray, but this is normally pretty pricey, but it's only eight bucks. It's a pretty good deal. They have the heat protector too from Rusk. This is nice, $9.99, so not too bad. Oh my goodness, they have living proof. This is actually a very good product. It adds a lot of body to your hair. It's the body builder, $12.99, not too bad, but I really like that. Okay, I had to snag this bag. How stinking cute is this? And it's only $15. I'm obsessed. This is literally like just like a Chanel bag that I really like that I would never spend the money on because it's tie-dye, but it's so cute. Oh my God, need it. Oh my goodness, how cute are these little kitten heels? I have like the flats version of these. These are so cute. Ooh, wait, okay, these are actually my size because I'm a nine. These are like Yeezy dupes from Steve Madden. These are actually really cute. Ooh, $14.99 too, not bad. All right, sadly, these are in the size nine section, but clearly they are not a size nine. They're like ginormous, so I don't know. I think somebody just misput them here, but they are not my size. All right, I've been looking in the clothing section, but I'm really not finding anything that I love. They have some cute like cover-ups, but the bathing suit area is pretty sparse. There's like not a lot really left here, which I'm sad about. This is actually really cute, but I don't think it's dressy enough for the wedding that I'm going to, but cute nonetheless and only 20 bucks. So maybe I should just grab it. Okay, this I actually really like. It's really cute and it's only 20 bucks. It's like a long kind of maxi, but they literally only have it in small. And I think there's like one extra small. So Lord knows I'm not fitting in that, but it's cute. <laughs> this I like. I don't think it's right for the wedding either. I feel like it's still not really dressy enough, but maybe with heels it could work. The material is a little like beachy though, and it's kind of like a fancy wedding. I feel like this dress could be cute. It's kind of like a little sporty moment, and it's like super cheap. It's on clearance. I don't know. Maybe not for me, but it's like that nice kind of like sporty, like airy material. I feel like it's cute. This dress I also really like, but obviously I can't wear a white dress to a wedding, but like for a cute little summer dress, it's adorable. I don't know how much it is. Okay, $16.99, not bad. Ooh, okay, lots of cute sun hats. I like this one. Ooh, this one is really cute. How adorable are these little evening bags? They look like lemons and limes. Oh my God. $25, not bad. <gasps> the watermelon one. Oh my goodness. I'm not a huge fanny pack gal, but this one's actually really cute. I like the white, like for summer. It's only 12 bucks. Also pillows galore as always. And they have a lot of two packs today too, which is nice if you need like matching ones. I bought like literally all the pillows in my house from here. I don't need any extra ones, but they have great pillows at great prices. So I always just like to peruse down this aisle while I'm here. Okay, I'm digging these gold candlesticks. Oh, $7.99, not too, too bad. And they have like a bigger one too if you wanna like stack them. I'm not sure how much this one is. Oh, $9.99, all right, that's actually a pretty good price. I feel like these would look cute like together like this. What do we think? You guys know I love gold. <laughs> also really digging these gold lamps. I literally just bought gold lamps and I don't have the receipt or anything anymore, so I'm not buying new ones, but those are really cute. I really like those. I also really love these skinny mixes. I like always get them here. Unicorn, I don't know what flavor that is, but I really, really like the pina colada one, but I don't see it. I see mojito, peach bellini, margarita, strawberry key lime, but the one of this that is pina colada, I don't see it back there, so good. Okay, not super fun, but I do need one of these dish scrubber things, so I'm gonna grab this because it's only four bucks, but yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm literally in line to check out and they always try and get you with all these little things by the cashiers. But I don't need any of this. I'm not getting any of it. Those earrings are kind of cool. Oh, they have so many candles too at the checkout. Okay, I'm staying strong and not getting any, but I do actually really like this brand of candles, the DW Home, and they're all like 15 bucks. They're very big and really, really nice. They have this pretty pink one over here too. Peony petals, but I don't need any. Okay, JK, they are getting me because I do need a card for the wedding and they have some cards at the checkout. So I'm just going to grab this because it's $2 and it's cute. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. I immediately feel like free when I leave the store <laughs> to vlog because I feel like whenever you film inside a store, oh, my car is over here. Everybody just like stares at you. And now I have all this hair in my mouth. Not as if everyone isn't staring at me in the parking lot doing this because I live in New Jersey and it's not really normal to film. Like I feel like creators in LA can just film wherever. It doesn't matter. Um, 
here everybody looks at you, but I feel like once I'm outside, I'm like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, just got back in the car. It is hot out today. Goodness gracious, I have the AC like all the way up. Um, I'm about to drive home. I am like literally famished at the moment, so I'm gonna make dinner and stuff, and then I will like sit down and show you guys the stuff I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I feel like everything I got was really good, and hopefully everything will fit and stuff. One thing I actually noticed is that their dressing rooms are now open, so in the past couple of months, like when I've been going to GJ Maxx and Marshalls and all those kind of places, none of the dressing rooms were open, but I don't know, maybe with like the mask mandate changing here in Jersey at least, now the dressing rooms can be open because before you could never try anything on in the store so it was kind of just like hoping for the best yeah i'm gonna drive home now and then i'll see you guys once we're home all right you guys how lucky am i i literally come inside the house my husband is already making dinner i'm excited i thought i was gonna have to make it by myself but he's already here slicing and dicing away I got it. <laughs> what are we having balsamic fig chicken sounds good I'll help you. I'll put my stuff down and help him, and then we'll do the haul. All right, you guys, we just finished dinner. It was fabulous. It was like a balsamic fig chicken. I don't think I've ever had fig before, but it was so, so good. I wanna thank HelloFresh for partnering with me on this section of today's video, but if you guys follow my vlog channel, you will know that we have used HelloFresh for months now. Their meals are absolutely delicious, and it just makes it so much easier. It saves you time and stress. All their meals can be made in about 30 minutes. Some of them are actually even under 20 minutes. There's tons of different recipes to choose from, so you're not constantly eating the same thing over and over. And it's really nice because everything's pre-portioned. There's a lot less food waste because it's just the two of us. So it's more sustainable, but it's flexible to meet your lifestyle. If you have a large family, you need more servings for more people. They do have options for that as well, but we absolutely love it. And they're also committed to giving back. They gave over 4 million meals to charity in 2020, which is awesome. And trust me, if my husband can make the meals and even me too, like I am not the best cook. It is, they are not hard to make, but they are very, very good. So if you guys go to hellofresh.com and use my code, which is kellystrack14, you will get 14 free meals plus free shipping. So I'll have a link and the promo code right down below. Definitely check it out. But without further ado, let's get into this haul and see everything in here. I didn't end up getting a ton of stuff, but I feel like the stuff I got was good. And I did try some of it on and everything was really cute. So I was very happy about that. First thing I grabbed, I showed you guys this in the store. I just thought this was the cutest thing. This actually kind of looks like, there's a Chanel bag that looks like this. This is probably $7,000. Um, and this was $14.99. And I just thought this was the cutest thing for summer. Like, and again, only 15 bucks. I loved the tie dye and like the little quilted print, but it's kind of like the material is like a, jelly sort of material but it's not like see-through and it's really cute on the inside like you know you could fit a decent amount of stuff in here you have the little closure and then the little gold chain so i just thought this was absolutely adorable and as soon as i saw it i was like yes ma'am i need it another thing i grabbed i always get um these from this brand like a lot of times when i go to tj maxx it's the cala brand and they're their foot masks i've tried the rose ones and i really like those these were new these are just the moisturizing foot masks it says it says they have sunflower seed and tea tree oil in them but basically it's like a sheet mask but for your feet so it's like a full on like sock that you put on your feet and I leave these on for like an hour after I get out of the shower about once per week and it softens up the feet moisturizes them and stuff and they're really really nice and it's like a nice little at home spa sort of thing but this is a three pack and it was $4.99. So they're super affordable. I love them and I pick these up whenever I see them there. They're normally always readily available at TJ Maxx. This, not very fun. I think I showed you guys this too. It's just one of those brushes for your dishes, which this actually makes a world of a difference. It's so much easier to use than like a sponge because then your hand doesn't have to get all in it. So I love these. They don't last for too long. So I get a new one every couple months, but it was only $3.99. So I grabbed this. Ooh, okay. I don't think I showed you guys these when we were in the store because there was somebody like right next to me when I was looking at these. And I was like, oh my God, I can't vlog. But I did find shoes that actually fit me. How stinking cute are these? I was having some difficulty because some of those other sandals were not the right size, but these were actually a size nine and I thought these were adorable. I think they're supposed to kind of look like Dior has like slide sandals that are like this. That's like this um, kind of material, but these are BCBG and they were $19.99. So I was like, they're really cute. They look high end, they're black and white for 20 bucks and they're actually like a nice, like they're sturdy. This is like a nice kind of cloth material. So I thought that these were really cute to just throw on in the summer and a great price. So I grabbed those. Okay, next two things are clothing items. I tried both of these on and they're really cute. So I'm keeping both of them. The first one is this little like, honestly, I feel like you could wear this out as like a dress with like maybe like a something underneath it, obviously, cause it's open in the front, but it's technically like a beach cover up, but it's so cute if I could like figure out where the top of this is. Um, so it looks like this and it kind of ties in the front. 
So there's a little tie here that you can just like bow to keep it closed and it like cinches at the waist because it's like that stretchy kind of material and it has these flowy little sleeves and then it just has like little ruffles going down. Like it's like the cutest little dress. I absolutely love it. I will totally wear this. Like I said, I feel like if you closed it enough, you could wear this out. You would just probably have to wear like shorts or something underneath it, but for the top you should be okay because it will flow open with these like rufflies. But I just thought that this was super, super cute. I loved the sleeve on it and it was adorable. This was 16 bucks. I already took the tag off because I was like, yes, I'm keeping it. So cute. Love the leopard print. So glad that that's like back in style now. And I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of that. They have the cutest cover-ups. There wasn't a lot of swimsuits today. I've had hits with swimsuits there. Today it was definitely picked over. There wasn't a lot, but they had a lot of cover-ups. So it's definitely a good place to go if you need like a little beachy dress or something. It's super cute for that. And the next dress that I got, really love this. I'm going to keep it. I took the tags off of this as well, but I had hoped in the store that I would be able to get away with this for one of the weddings. I don't think so. Um, it's not really dressy enough. Like the material is a very lightweight material. Like I feel like it probably might even be like see-through. Like, can you see my hand through there? Mm, a little bit. I mean, you could see the light coming in through the back. It's a really cute dress. It just kind of cinches in the waist. It's like knotted right here. And then it just goes down and it's like a high low sort of situation. I can try and insert it in a picture of it on so you guys can see, but it's really, really cute. And I was hoping because it was black, you would be able to like dress it up enough for a wedding. But I feel like the wedding that we have is a little bit more dressy and it's definitely not like a high end material. Um, so I probably can't wear it to the wedding, but I'm gonna keep it anyways. I took the tag off because I was like, it's really cute. This was $16.99. I'll definitely wear it. Like it would be very cute for like a night out, a date night or something like that. I just feel like I need something a little bit more for the wedding. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. But regardless, it's very flattering on um, and looks really nice. It, like cinches the waist, kind of gives that hourglass look, which I like. Okay, last but certainly not least, I'm really hoping these aren't broken because these were clanking around on the drive home. Okay, no, they actually look okay. Um, I think I showed you guys these when we were in store, but the lady, normally they wrap them, um, but there was a big line, so she probably didn't want to do it today, which is fine. Um, but they were kind of just like clanking against each other on the ride home, but they look like they're okay. Um, but I just got these gold little candle, like stands, candle holders, I guess you'd call them. I bought both of them because I thought they were a good price. The bigger one was $9.99 and then the smaller one, $7.99. And I figured I could just put them next to each other somewhere in the house, like where I needed an extra little decor. I love gold pieces um, to put in my house. and I thought these were really pretty. I could just get some sort of like wide candle to go on top here. They actually give option though, if you just wanna do like one of those stick candles, you could do that too, like the longer skinny ones. But I feel like that might look a little weird because the, the bases are big, but I thought these were super cute and I grabbed them because I thought that they were a great price. I love TJ Maxx for home stuff. I feel like they have just as good of things as home goods. I mean, they're all kind of the same brand anyways, but they have great stuff there. So I was glad that I got those. But yeah, that was everything that I picked up. I didn't get any of the makeup because I just felt like I have so much makeup already. So I'm like, do I really need any more? But they had so many good things there. So like if you need a new lipstick or like you wanna try that Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, like they had so many things there from so many high-end brands like NARS, MAC, and those MAC eyeshadow palettes were so cute. So they had a lot of really good options there for sure. Also it would be nice if like for a gift for somebody or something. So yeah, that was everything. Not a lot of stuff, but happy with the stuff that I did get. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video better where we do like the shop with me and I show you guys more of like in the store the stuff that's there and then just haul whatever I get when I come home instead of just doing a haul like I've done in the past. Definitely let me know what you guys like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!